Today we have really exciting news. We have developed what is called the VR Oculus Quest Plus Photon plugin for Unity in which you will be able to create a game for virtual reality using your Oculus Quest headset and controllers and create a multiplayer game for different players. In this part of the tutorial we're going to show how to import all the needed packages which will be the Oculus Rift integration package and the Photon package that will be corresponding to PAN2 version. And to do so, let's open and create a new Unity project. In order to do that, select the version you want. In this case, we're going to use 2019.2.3 and call this your multiplayer game. Now click create. This will take a while. Once your project is open, you can delete the scene folder and you can go ahead to the build settings and switch the platform to Android. This will take a while. Now we are all set to import the two main packages in the asset store. To do so, select Oculus integration from the search and import the package called Oculus integration. Once the Oculus integration import Unity package is ready to be imported, check that everything is selected and imported into your project. Once the importing process has finished, you will have the Oculus folder here, but nevertheless, Oculus utilities have to be also updated. So in this case, you can select yes to go to the available version 1.44. Once the OVR plugin has been updated, you have to select restart. Finally, hit the button upgrade. This will restart the Unity Editor and you don't have to save the scenes either. Once the editor is restarted, you will see the following folders inside Oculus. Now it's time to import Photon. So to do so, write Photon Pan 2 free. We have to select this one and import it into our project. Double check that everything is set to the selection boolean and import it. If the Photon package is imported properly, you will see the following message. You will have to introduce the APP ID or email in order to start the configuration of your project. You can skip this process, but for sake of this tutorial, we are going to show how to create a Photon account. So go ahead to photonengine.com and say try Photon free. You will have to register. In this case, you follow the steps that the server is going to show you. And as I already created an account, I will just log in. You will have to check I'm not a robot and you can select remember me in order to do things faster. Now it's time to create a new application. To do so, select create a new app. You have to select Photon Pun. Here you have to put your name. In this case it's going to be a test because I'm going to erase it afterwards. And we hit create. Now the test should appear in our inspector. You can manage and analyze the number of connections. In this case, we're going to manage in order to get the ID of the application. Copy this value here and go ahead and go back to Unity. 
in the ID paste the value of the ID you have copied before. Set up the project and click close. You will see that in the resources inside Photon Unity Networking, a Photon Server settings is created. Select settings and you will see that the ID appears at the first variable. You can also check best region preference and reset it and check that the running background and username server are set to true. Let's change also the protocol to TCP. This will be the end of the configuration of Photon. The final step is to import our project, the VR game for Oculus Quest. In order to do so, we have created a package that it will simulate the downloading process from the Unity Asset Store. This will be what appears on the importing window. You will have our resources and a VR Oculus Quest multiplayer Photon package. Import both of the folders into your project and wait for compiling process. It's time to verify that everything has been imported properly and that our project is going to work. You have two options to do that. You can test it from the editor or export it directly to your device. In this case, we're going to test it from the editor. You can go ahead to the VR Oculus Quest Multiplayer Photon folder and inside of it, you will see two important scenes and a third one that is the promotional scene. The main scene is called menu scene and you will see that whenever we hit the scene you will have the problem that we have to add the oculus to the list of supported devices. To do so we'll go to build settings, player settings and inside that we have first of all to erase the Vulkan graphics because it's not compatible with our Oculus versions. Then in XR settings we have the virtual reality supported set to true and then we add the Oculus SDK just by selecting it from the plus button. This will take some seconds to rebuild the scripts we need to make our Oculus Rift project work properly. Once this is done, we select the two main scenes, that it will be the menu scene and the multiplayer scene, and we add them to the scene build. Very important, we have to add them both in this order. First will be the menu scene and secondly we will have to add the multiplayer scene. Now that this is done, we can go ahead and check if our project is going to work. To do so, go to scene and play the scene. You will see something like this. You will be able to move your head by pressing Ctrl and if you press Alt you will be able to roll your head. Now to test if the hands are working you can go ahead and open the OVR player controller and inside of the distance grab hand you can move the transform in order to select something as you can see here. Finally, if no errors appear on the console, that means that we have joined the lobby and the player is connected to the Photon server. As you can see here, we have a message that says join lobby. Finally, in order to join a room, go to the lobby controller in the inspector and you will have a button that says join room manually. If you press that button here, this button opens the 
multiplayer scene in which all the multiplayer events appear. Now you can finish this tutorial by exporting this to the Oculus Quest and testing if the game works properly in your devices.